Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let us solve another interesting problem. Write a program to print palindromic right angle triangle pattern using characters. Right angle triangle will be like this. Exactly one side, one angle will be 90 degrees. So this is a right angle triangle. Okay. What I want to print, I want to print right angle triangle as palindromic palindromic characters by using palindromic characters you can see five is my input how many lines of output i get one two three four five so totally five lines of output i need to print so let me say to read the input i want to use a input function and to convert it into integer i need what int is a type converter which i want to use to convert it into integer now to print to print over the given number of times to print my data over a given number of times what i need to do i must need to iterate over the given number of times right for i in range of n will iterate me n number of times so i just assigns i value as from 0 to n minus 1 let us check by running it yeah let me provide 5 as main but you can see from 0 to 4 i am getting so to to analyze very effectively let me take my i values from 1 to 1 to n so for that i change in my range from 1 to n plus 1 so that's why it will produce me 1 to 5 that means whatever the n value we produce we will provide till that we get the range okay so during the first iteration what do i need to print i need to print a so during the second iteration, what do I need to print? That is B, A and B. So during third iteration, okay, let me, let, let us make it a bit more clear. So I need to print that. So let us see it in this way so that it will be very easy to us. So first let us try to print this part and then let us try to print this part and then combine these two so that it will be very easy to us okay yeah first let us see let us observe here what it is printing first time it is printing one a in second iteration what is it what it is printing a and b in third iteration what it is printing a b and c in fourth line what it is printing four four characters a b c d in fifth line what it is printing it is printing five characters a b c d and e so how to do this sir how to print this so to do this we just need we just need the order of a so if that is if that is ith iteration how many characters do i need to print i characters right so for j in range of for j in range of i i need to print i characters i need to print i characters so i characters i need to print and end is equals to what a space is provided in between every character so i need to provide a space between every character after printing every character i need to pro go to what new line i need to go to new line that i need to specify after printing my line so let us see them getting the same format of output or not yeah First line one output, second line two outputs, third line three outputs, fourth line four outputs, fifth line five outputs. Okay. Now I need to print only these characters. In first line, what I need to print? I need to print A. How do I get A, sir? How do I get A? So for this, you need to analyze with ASCII characters. You need to analyze with ASCII characters. So let us print J value so that you can see first during first time during first iteration j will be zero during second iteration it will provide me zero zero and one in third iteration zero one two in fourth iteration zero one two three in fifth iteration zero one two three four in in increasing order it was provided so now now to get the order of to get the order to get the order that means the ASCII value of capital A. Since we need to print capital A, I need the ASCII value of capital A. So now order will provide me the ASCII value of capital A. Now by using this ASCII value, I just need to convert, I just need to convert 
by adding that ascii value with j i get the current current character that means ascii value of a plus 0 nothing but ascii value of a right the character of uh, ascii value of a is what a only after that here a will be printed and then one will be added to my ascii value so whenever one got added to my ascii value then that ascii value becomes the next character's ascii value that is what b's ascii values and then i am converting whatever the ascii value that i get here to what character so whenever i am converting my ascii value to character then it will become b or else that represent that respect to character you can say ascii value here how do you get ASCII value? ASCII value is equal to J plus order of what I want to print capital letters. So capital A. So you can run and check whether you are getting correctly A, B, C, D. Yeah. You can see I am getting this. I am getting this. I am getting this. Now what I want? I want this. I want this. Just it is similar to this only but this is what just printing one letter just printing one letter and then this is what this is what this is what this is b first that means in reverse it was printing in reverse it was printing in reverse so to do to print that to print that what i can do so before entering into new line before entering into new line i need to print again a Whenever my line is what? 2. Whenever my line is 2, I need to print one letter. Whenever my line is 3, I need to print two elements. Whenever my line is 4, I need to print three elements only. Whenever my line is 5, I need to print four elements only. So based on number of line, based on the line number, I need to print what? That line minus one elements. So that line minus one elements. Here what is line? What represents line? I represents line. So I minus one will produce me I minus one, one will produce me exactly line minus one number of times it will iterate. So range of I minus one will produce me exactly I minus one sequence, I minus one length sequence. So this for loop iterates for me exactly I minus one number of times. So exactly how many times? I minus one number of times. Here also I need to find the ASCII value. So here also I need to find the ASCII value. Let us consider from first statement. So whenever I am printing this value, I am printing this value. What is the I minus 1? Here the line is what? I will be 2. Second line. So I will be 2. I minus 1 will produce me what? 1. So the inner for loop will exactly iterate for only once. So how do I get this? I get this by using ASCII value of A plus ASCII value of A plus J. J will be 0, right? I minus 1 range I am iterating. So that's why it just iterate over 0 the time only. So it will be what? Order of A. It will be order of A plus 0. That is nothing but J. Order of A plus J it will be. Now, how do I get whenever i is equals to what 3 that means i minus 1 will be 2. So first what I need to print I need to print b. So I need to print b that is nothing but order of a order of a plus 1. How do I get this one? So how do I get this one? Initially j value will be 0 then it will be 1. So j value will be 0 right. So at the time of 0, how do I get I value mm, here 1? J value is 0, right? Yeah, J value is 0. So how do I get 1? I minus 1 value is what? 2. So I minus 1 value is 2. So that's why I can write it as I minus 1 minus 1. That is nothing but 1, right? So 2 minus 1 is nothing but 1, right? So I can write 1 as i minus 1 minus 1. That is nothing but 2 minus 1, right? I can write 1 as 2 minus 1. In place of 2, I can write i minus 1. 
So can we do it here the same way? So I minus one is what one. So I minus one is what one minus one. If I do so, it will be it will become zero. So it doesn't affect me the previous result. Okay. So now you can tell me if I add j here initially j is equals to zero. Nothing effect will be happen. B will be printed after second iteration. Second iteration, what I want, I want a. That is nothing but order of similarly a plus same i minus one minus one plus j. Let us see whether it is printing me a value or not. Order of a is what a only. Order of a only. And i minus one minus one. What is this? i minus one will be two. And two minus one will be one. Two minus one will be one. So this will become one. This will become what one. Mm -hmm. This will become. This will become me one. So while my j value becomes one, right? So j value becomes one. I need to minus it. Then it will become zero. I got the order of a as a only. So what I need to do, I need to subtract j value. I need to subtract j value. Let us see in the above statement. If I am subtracting j value. So this is the thing which satisfies with this. So if I am subtracting j value here itself, here also, does it satisfying or not? Let us check. So order of a will be order of a only, let's say. And minus j, initially j value is what? Zero. So minus zero, nothing affects on my result. And i minus one is what? One. So one minus one is what? Zero. It doesn't affect. So it will be zero, right? I neglect it. So order of a will provide me the a. So, okay. So this is the relation. This is the relation which I want to use to find the ASCII value of ASCII value of current printing character. Current printing character. So to print the character which is presented that ASCII value, I'm just using, I'm just converting that ASCII value to character and just providing an end is equals to simple space and just providing and is equals to simple space. So let us run and check by providing different inputs. Let me provide two. So I'm getting two lines of output. Yeah. So let us provide with five and check whether it is working correctly or not. Yeah. You can see A, A, B, A, A, B, C, A, B, A. Yeah. Exactly. However, in which way I'm expecting in that way it is getting. Is it? I'm expecting for palindromic thing. So palindromic string got printed in this way. So in this way, we need to think and in this way, we need to solve a major problem into sub problem, sub problems based on the sub problems. We have to derive whatever the sufficient relations that we require to solve the problem by using those relations. We need to write the code and then by using the code, you can produce the solutions. So this is the way whenever you are solving a new problem, you have to follow. So I hope this video is understanding to you. So please try to practice this by your own once again, so that it will be very easy to you whenever you are trying to solve a new problem. I hope this video is understanding to you. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. See you back in the next video. Until then, bye bye.